How's it going, Libra? It's Robin here. Welcome to Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, I was guided to do this um, tarot spread for you guys. It's called Get Rich Quick, and it's going to identify any fears and blocks around being successful with money, with any sort of abundance for you. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you happen to come across it, this message is for you. So hopefully it resonates and that you can get some help from it. Uh, I will be using the Witch's Tarot to do this reading for you. It's a beautiful deck, and it's just a three-card placement. So let's get going. Keep in mind, this is a general reading for Libra in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's have a look here. Like, why are you blocked from financial abundance? That's such a big one. Um, and we can all have these really wild and weird blocks. So hopefully this helps you, Libra. Um, okay, so this is quite fascinating what I'm getting here with the King of Wands. It's like you guys could be celebrating yourself just a little bit too soon. Like, I'm getting the sense that there are a lot of projects for you guys with the king of wands that you're not quite done um i'm getting some kind of intriguing messages from my guides so i'm just gonna spit them out i'm sorry i'm seeing where some of you could be taking credit for other people's work so and maybe that's great for you know your parents or your kids or in your workplace or something like that, but the universe isn't taking too kindly to it. Um, you know, there there is a sense that you need to finish what you started and not take credit for other people's work at all, ever, okay? So this is not a good characteristic and you might have your own reasons like, oh, that person's a jerk, so I'm gonna claim that work for myself, but it's actually putting such a negative karma into the universe that it's not really helping you be able to manifest because the energy isn't matching up to the intention and the intention is a completion, but the energy is knowing that you didn't do it or you didn't finish it and then sitting back and expecting all these accolades. So with the King of Wands, okay, so that's a big block. It's a huge block, okay? So um, if you need to finish something, if you're at 95% and maybe you don't have the strength to get there, maybe take a break and then finish it and then celebrate yourself, okay? And if you're the type of person that is taking credit for other people's work or, you know, something along that line, make sure you deserve to do that if you if you need to appear on a cover page or that you collaborated, like, do you really deserve that? Or you should step back out of the spotlight and let the person responsible for that work really shine, okay? And that could be happening in the reverse as well. Like people could be taking credit for your work and it could be making you really angry, you know, instead of feeling like, wow, I did such a good job. And then somebody comes up and says, oh, well, you wouldn't have been able to do it without me. And they're doing it for their own shady reasons. That's really tainting that message of accomplishment and pride that is being sent out to the universe with this negative sort of, wow, I loathe you for doing that vibe. So really pay attention to stuff like that. And if you're the type of person that somebody else is taking credit for your work and you're just tight-lipped about it and not saying anything, you're need, you need to speak up, okay? So that that uh, energy that is going into the universe in a negative way can be corrected, all right? So let's see how to help get yourself into a wealth mindset. Okay, so there's a, some sort of unity that needs to happen. And that's what I was seeing with the King of Wands where there's a real fracture um, <clears throat> of what is going on around you, you know, and this could be like a sibling rivalry. Again, it could be a work thing. I find there's a lot of people in the work environment that are absolute sharks and they want to just rise up without doing the work, but I don't think that's you. Okay. So there is something to be said about keeping your friends close and your enemies closer. Just one sec. So you need to harmonize a little bit better. Instead of 
getting angry at the situation or taking a false accolade. Maybe getting closer with people and ask for help. And if people are taking credit for your work, you're going to have to call them out on it, even if it is very unpleasant. And just say, like, I don't know why you took credit for that. Show me one place on this document or project or whatever it is, cutting the yard, that you even helped with. Okay, so drawing people in closer to you with the Three of Cups um, is going to help right the wrong energies that were going out into the universe. Does that make sense, you guys? You could let me know in the comments, okay? So I hope that does make sense. Feel free to ask me questions about that too. So what fear about money do you need to release right now for yourselves, Libra? So we have the Magician card. So this is the energy of being able to create anything that you want to. So... I mean, the message that I'm getting for you, for you, Libra, sorry, like there's no fear. Like you have every ability. It's like completely 100% recognize that you're able to create anything in life that you ever dreamed of doing. But it is this sort of, I'm getting the word conversion, but I don't think that's right. It's like Everything is being sent out into the universe, all your energy in a negative way because it's affected by somebody else that is usurping a title or, you know, claiming collaboration or it could be either way. So, you guys, there's something going under the radar here. Feelings are not being addressed properly. It's like you're eating your feelings, you know what I mean, when somebody takes credit for you and then they get the pat on the head from the boss or the parent or whatever it is like that. And it's not allowing you to collaborate and send out the magic that you need to send. Seeing the magician, you guys have absolutely all this control over what it is that you're able to manifest, but it is this unfinished project or some sort of con artist in your realm that is skewing your energy going out to universe. So you got to take care of that. So things are going out the right way. So that when you're manifesting with the power of the magician, it all literally happens instead of you sitting back and so like I did all this work, or at least I claim to, why aren't things coming in? So this is a really complex reading for you, Libra, but I hope it was helpful for you. So take care. Bye.